Hi, folks. Brian Blessing, Kenny White, getting you ready for the opening Sunday of NFL football. And let's stagger it. Early in the day, take you right through the get-out game Sunday night football. Great games to get things started. And you can check the current updated odds of Bookmaker on your smartphone. Open up an account at bookmaker.eu. It is free. Free is always a good word. Uh, it's not going to be free for Tennessee. They're going to have to earn it. They host uh, New England. Uh, the Patriots, five-and-a-half-point favorites. Total on the game is 47. The one thing we know about Belichick, Kenny, he's got this team ready to roll early. And if they're rolling, that means the offense is clicking. No doubt about it. Uh, Bill Belichick gets his teams prepared for the season. They're 6-4 and four ATS the last five years, their first two games of the season. More importantly, they've won eight straight season openers. That's the longest in the NFL right now. Only five teams in the history of the NFL have won more than eight. A Tennessee team that played very hard for first-year head coach Mike Munchak last year. We'll see how they come out of the gate. Specifically, I think, uh, with Locker getting the start, there, there's a major difference. But the biggest difference for Tennessee would be if Chris Johnson returns to form. Yeah, they need Chris Johnson badly. The team averaged just 90 yards a game last year on the ground. 3.8 yards per carry. Munchak, an offensive lineman in his career, really prides himself on having a great line. Now, Locker will actually bring a little bit more rushing yards to the package here. Hasselbeck, just a, pa a pocket passer. But Locker, I think, is going to struggle with some of the deeper and intermediate passes. Hey, we can make a case for this being the game of the week. San Francisco's at Green Bay. Pack lane five, the total, in the 40, uh, total here is 46.5. The thing that sticks out to me, Kenny, this, I believe, uh, in all likelihood, maybe when the Bears come to town and we'll see what the current form is for the Bears at that time, but this may be the lowest spread we'll see uh, the Packers laying. Uh, no, nope. oh, it, it will be the lowest spread. I would never imagine the Packers being under a touchdown the rest of the season at home. And this is the matchup we were all looking forward to last year in the playoffs. We didn't quite get it, but we're going to get it on the first week of the season. Great way to start the year. Aaron Rodgers has improved his passing percentage and yards per pass the last four years. If he can do it again, topping 68% passing and 9.25 yards per pass. Boy, this guy's something special. Is Cedric Benson a wild card? I think Cedric Benson definitely is. Uh, kind of a plotter. It's, I don't think it's a, a really good fit for the Packers. Seems like a, a, a round peg in a square hole or a <laughs> square peg in a round hole. I get it. <laughs> he's 10 carries for 39 yards in the preseason. So don't think he's going to be ready, but the guy averaged under four yards a carry at Cincinnati the last two years. He is coming off three straight 1,000-yard seasons. But this is a team that loves to throw the ball. Pittsburgh at Denver. It's the Sunday night game. Denver's a one-and-a-half point favorite. The total on the game is 44-and-a-half. Before we dive into specifics, this was a game, I think, all summer long when that number was up, Kenny. We anticipated as public a team as Pittsburgh is that it wouldn't shock anybody if they actually crossed over and were a slight favorite in this game. But Denver is taking such an inordinate amount of money to win the Super Bowl. There's a love affair going on with the betters in Denver, and they have a brutal schedule. You know, we saw what happened last year in Indianapolis. Without Peyton Manning, this team just completely fell apart. Obviously, there was a lot of new pieces there, but Manning makes such a huge difference. The only problem is being off a year now, he's going to take some time to shake the rust off. I have no doubt that Denver will make the playoffs this year, but in game one against Pittsburgh, a team that's going to be hungry after getting knocked out of the playoffs by the Broncos last year, Manning may be running for his life in this game. Manning's getting all the pub, but you think there might be a couple of little weapons in here that are flying under the radar for him? Well, I think a big pickup in the offseason was Joel Dreesen coming over the tight end. Uh, Jacob Tammy, the other tight end, they'll use a lot of two tight end sets. Manning loves to throw to the tight ends, and he has worked well with them in the preseason and in practices. So look for both guys to get a lot of opportunities. Last year, Dreesen set a career high in touchdown catches. He may top that this year. All right, and as for uh, the visitors here, the Steelers kind of limped home at the end of last year, and the one thing we do know about Tomlin and this crew in the early stages of the season, um, run, stop the run, play good D. This is still one of the best defenses in the NFL, if not the best defense. Uh, we talked about one earlier in San Francisco, only allowing 15.6 points per game last year. Well, Pittsburgh only allowed 15 a game. I think they are the best defense in the NFL. Uh, but you're right, down the end of the season, 1-4 and four ATS, and that included that Denver loss in the playoffs. It's a trifecta of great games that are on the menu for the opening Sunday of NFL football. These games and all the games, of course, right here for you at Bookmaker.